the Cooper, Kripke, and Version had a lot of instances of gender stereotyping, including when Howard and Raj sort of purchased these little action figures to look like them, and Bernadette sort of has to reel Howard in and say like, no, that's not okay, and she even ends up taking him off the joint account. Bernadette makes most of the money in her and Howie's relationship, and that Howie actually married into money. All his friends are kind of, um, they remind him about it a lot. And usually in a lot of shows or in a lot of common belief, it's usually the man telling the woman not to spend so much money. So I thought that was very interesting. A thousand dollars on action figures? How can you afford that? <laughs> Easy. His family's loaded and Bernadette has a great job. <laughs> My wife came with both fun bags and money bags. <laughs> The spoiler alert segmentation didn't really seem to have as much gender stereotyping going on. However, it was funny when Sheldon called Leonard a little lady, which did not make him very happy and sort of resulted in a big fight between them. Sheldon calls Leonard a hysterical woman because he drinks soy milk in his cereal. Because of your lactose intolerance, you switched over to soy milk. Soy contains estrogen mimicking compounds. I think your morning Cocoa Puffs are turning you into a hysterical woman. Penny and Amy were like, okay, we're, you know, we're upset, we're gonna go drink wine and talk about how terrible our boyfriends are. Come on, Amy, let's go drink wine and talk about what jerks our boyfriends are. Whereas Sheldon and Leonard, who were the ones that were originally upset at each other, they just kind of stand around and they're like, okay, you know, Let's go, let's go watch Walking Dead. Do you want to catch up on some Walking Dead? Okay. I enjoyed the tangible affection proof because it took place around Valentine's Day and usually it's thought that the women, the women of the world love it and the men sort of are pushing back against it, but Penny was very anti-romance and Leonard quote unquote wanted to be the romance ninja so it was really interesting to see how she had the commitment issues and he really wanted to commit and settle down so it was definitely refreshing and something you don't see all the time. Alex, when she was trying to find uh, the perfect gift for Sheldon's girlfriend, Amy, he, he seemed like unthankful, like he didn't appreciate the effort uh, Alex took showed that Penny was really uninterested in Valentine's Day while Leonard was really excited and made a lot of effort. And another example was when they were talking about marriage and Penny said that she would be the one to propose to Leonard instead of the other way around. Most of the time, you know, it's always the guy that has to get down on one knee and propose to the woman. But in this case, it was kind of a new twist on an old tale, which I really enjoyed. If someday you decide you want to get married, you have to propose to me. Really? Yes. It's all on you. I thought it was interesting that the monster isolation focused on Raj and after a bad day usually you see the women sulking and being really upset and depressed about it but in this episode Raj didn't even want to leave his house ordering things from Amazon to be delivered constantly so it was definitely interesting to see the male perspective that isn't always shown to us. Men are portrayed as not being tactful and that um, they need women to remind them you know, about what's polite or rude and generally how to be civilized. Women are caring and think more emotionally as Amy has to tell Sheldon to thank Penny for her help with his online web videos and he's instantly turns her down when she invites him to her play until Amy tells him that he's partially obligated to because she helped him out, to which he goes and tells her that he will go only because he feels obligated. So it kind of shows the differences in the way that men and women think. <laughs> Sheldon, that's very rude. She helped you with your show. The right thing to do is reciprocate by going to see her play. <laughs> what? Amy pointed out to me that since you did something nice for me, I'm obligated to do something nice for you. So, yes, I'll go to your dopey play. 